people who speak a second language. What have you overheard people saying about you when they thought you couldn't understand? I witness some serious shti go down. A black family was eating dinner in a restaurant. They kept looking two tables over at a Spanish table. The black mom looked more and more pissed. Finally she walked over. Got down on one knee and in a stern yet not loud voice. Started going off a mile a minute in perfect Spanish. She didn't stop for a solid minute. The look on the Spanish family's face was of absolutely shock and horror. Afterwards. Nothing was said. And she went back to her table with a slight grin. Come to find out she was a college professor who taught Spanish. And the Spanish family kept making racist comments about their black sever. As well as the black family in question. Me and two other friends, one American, one German, were in rural town Philippines. We were getting out of a cab and unloading our bags when the cabbie's buddy pulls over next to us and they start chatting in the local language. Buddy. Whoa. Foreigners. How much did you get off them? Cabbie. Usual 80 pesos. Buddy. No way. I would have charged them at least double. Me. I think 80 pesos is quite fair. Don't you? His jaw dropped, and he awkwardly drove away. I learned enough to get by. But I deliberately keep it to myself, just for moments like these. It was really sweet actually. Two teenage boys. Do you think that's her real eye color? I don't know. Ask her. Ask her what? If they're contacts. I don't know how to say contacts in English. Do you? I'm from American but I live in Japan. And my friend came to visit last year. While we were sitting at a counter at a sushi restaurant this Japanese older couple came in and sat in the seats next to us. We were just looking at the menu and talking about what to order and I overhead the guy next to me talking to his wife saying oh. I wonder if they're okay. They probably can't read the menu. Should we do something? Maybe we should help. It was actually kind of cute. I just turned to them and politely said that there was no need but I appreciated the thought. My friend's dad speaks decent Japanese. And was at work one day when two visiting Japanese businessmen entered the elevator he was in and started talking mad tea about how stupid Americans were. One of them said something along the lines of we have to learn English. And this stupid asshole, referring to my friend's dad, doesn't speak any Japanese. My friend's dad paused for a few seconds. Then replied. I speak a little. Enough to understand what you just said. Anyway. He told me the look of horror on their faces was absolutely priceless. I live in China. And went to a remote city up on the North Korean border. Had just got back from Pyongyang but that's irrelevant. Went into a little corner shop and the Chinese people in there froze. Then started talking about how rare it is to see foreigners come to the city but how none of them ever understand any Chinese. A little grandma who ran the shop tried to stop them talking about me. But they just said it doesn't matter. She has no idea anyway. Proceeded to chat with the cute grandma when I was paying. And got to listen to the dead silence as I left. Big up Chinese grandma. I've heard multiple merchants telling each other to charge me more. Kind of reversal here. Ex-girlfriend, native Russian, and her sister were bad-mouthing a fat American for wearing pajama pants and slippers in the grocery store in Russian. As it turned out their Russian radar was a bit off that day. Because she turned around and replied back in pure Russian the equivalent of if you bitches aren't paying for my clothes and shut your mouths. They did. I worked at a popular theme park in Florida at the International Restaurant area. Every day I would ride the bus and not hear a single English conversation. One day two French exchange workers sat on either side of me continuing their chat about their evening plans. I tried to ignore them but found myself ping-ponging my glance to whichever one was talking. They apparently caught this. Girl 1. Do you think he understands us? Girl 2. No he is an American worker, you can tell this from uniforms. They are too stupid. Me. Yes I am American but I'm not stupid. Silence. I'm an EMT. I am by no means fluent. 
but I speak enough Spanish to get by. A couple years ago I was transporting an elderly Latina woman to the ER and her two granddaughters came to keep her company. They had an entire discussion about how one of them should ask me out. How cute I was. ETC etc. When we got to the ER and we were registering their grandmother. I asked her to slide over into the hospital stretcher in Spanish. They both blushed and then hid until I left. I live in Japan and this happens quite a lot and to varying levels of insult. I'll tell a cute one. I was at McDonald's perusing the menu board and the longer I stood there. The more uncomfortable the staff became. Oh no. No one speaks English. We have to find the English menu. Shti. Where is the English menu? I told them. No. It's okay. I'm just thinking. They all sighed in audible relief. I sign. But I'm not really skilled enough to speak English while I do it so I don't. Plus there was no need to. I was the only hearing volunteer that night. Earlier this year I was a volunteer at a deaf event held in my town. It was at a pool hall that was just open to the public as well as the people playing in the deaf competition. I was actually shocked how often a hearing person would come in and say something rude and mean about us all signing away happily. Eventually I just got sick of it and told one group walking past I could still hear them and the looks on their faces were great to watch. My mother was visiting hers in Prague. And walked to her car with German plates. Some idiots were standing next to her car. One said. I can't wait to see how that stupid cow is going to get out of that parking spot. And my mother answered well. If the stupid cow got her car in there. She's going to get it out of there too. Right? Zechmet. When I worked as a cashier. These two Russian men came through my line. I told them have a great day and one of the men said to the other. I wish I could take her with me. I immediately made eye contact with the guy and said no. He turned beat red and ran out of the store really fast. His friend ended up carrying all their stuff. Laughing his ass off. Not really talking about me but once I walked into the office of my high school to see the nurse because I was feeling sick. The secretary made me wait there while she was talking to her friend in Spanish over the phone about how she didn't know she was pregnant when she got drunk a week ago. So many Romanian people feel the need to insult me and my children. I. Of course. Insult them back and then after some homemade liquor we're best friends. I'm a Macedonian speaker living in Michigan. I was at the mall and overheard two Macedonian women talking about a man buying a bunch of socks. What they said was something along the lines of why is that crazy black man buying so many socks. The guy responded. In Macedonian. I'm buying these socks to send to my brothers in Macedonia. They got so effing red in the face it was unbelievable. Two old Japanese ladies in a sauna were talking about their niece and how she was about to marry a stupid American and was making a huge mistake. Finally one of them said something like there's other people in here. Maybe we should talk about this later. To which the other responded. What? Those two white girls? Yeah sure. Like they would understand. My friend and I were only like 12 but were in a Japanese immersion program. When we left I said I hope you get the problems with your niece worked out. I used to live in Taiwan and for some reason the locals always like to discuss what country they think my group of friends are from. We had a wide variety of English speaking expats. They really couldn't seem to wrap their minds around the fact we weren't all Americans. But. I also had the reverse experience. My friend and I were on the bus standing in front of a seated elderly grandpa reading a Chinese newspaper and somehow my friend and I ended up talking very explicitly about our Azul history and background. Very graphic with personal preferences and that sort of thing. We weren't too loud. But we were definitely talking detailed descriptions and experiences in earnest for the majority of the 20 minute bus ride. My friend gets off the bus and waves bye to me as I live a few stops after her. The second the bus starts moving again. The grandpa put down his newspaper and says in perfect English. So. You two are both Americans? 
I was dying as I had to make polite small talk for the next 10 minutes with an elderly grandpa who clearly understood every single word coming out of our mouths. I speak fairly fluent Spanish and work as a lifeguard in England. While I was cleaning one of the changing rooms a bunch of Spanish guys got out of the pool and started getting changed. And one of them watched me saying something along the lines of, Whoa. This guy has no idea how to do his job. I walk near them and asked everything alright. Gentlemen? Shortly afterwards and he swiftly shut up. Most satisfying exchange ever. My girlfriend worked in Japan for 3 years after college and is still fluent 25 years later. We were once together in a Japanese food store in town and two young men. Maybe 16 or 17. Said a couple of things back and forth in our aisle. And she turned and said something rapid fire in Japanese at them. Whereupon their mood changed and they said something back with some venom and went away. She told me I really didn't want to know what they had said or what she had said in return. But I pressed the matter and she said that one of them had said she had a blowjob mouth. To which she replied. I certainly wouldn't have any trouble handling your 4 inches. Comma blowjob mouth. What? Like all blurry? I am an American who at one point was fluent in French. I was chatting with a French klezmer band, yes. Really, after a concert when one of them turned to the other said in French hey. Isn't she pretty? The other band member looked me over. Shrugged and simply said man. I bet you that was their weird form of good cop bad cop technique for picking up chicks. I took French for like a month when I was 15. Even I would understand hey. Isn't she pretty in French? Not to mention men. Seems deliberate. At a blackjack table in an Indian casino two Mexican dudes were kind of drunk and talking business. Big business. Of the Breaking Bad variety. I kept my head down and mouth shut and pretended I didn't hear a goddamn word. You did the wise thing. Many things overheard. But my favorite moment was early on when I first moved to Japan in 1994. Waiting on the train platform in a rural village when a mother and her young son come through the gate. Immediately the son grabs her mother's hand and tells her in Japanese that they have to be careful of me, that I'm a dangerous foreigner. He promised to protect her but he was hiding behind her. We had a long wait. Eventually he decided he could creep closer. Still muttering under his breath about the foreigner. So I muttered back. I love Japanese children. They're delicious. He ran screaming. I did not feel bad about it. Edit. Many thanks for the gold X2. I maybe now don't have to commit ritual suicide. Hooray. Edit 2. No suicide. But I do have to go to sleep. After midnight here. Good night Reddit. I lived in Japan for 2 years and went to the doctor to get a medical certificate for the flu. He stuck a swab up my nose. Turned to his colleague and said he's got a big nose. Doesn't he? I called him out and said, in Japanese, oh. My nose is big is it? And he calmly turned back to me and said sudi sune, yes. It is in this context. Comma ice cold doc talking about my sknoz. 0 fcks given lomeo. My long haired uncle was standing in line to pay for his groceries when he overheard two women speaking German behind him. Long haired pig. He should get his hair cut. Without missing a beat. He turned around. And asked. In German. Do you have scissors? Edit. We live in Canada. I have the opposite problem. Everyone assume I speak their language. In New York I have been asked for directions in Korean. Chinese. Japanese and Spanish. Korean grocers and 7-11 Pakistanis all assume I speak their language for some reason. Comma Korean grocers and 7-11 Pakistanis. Lol what? I wish I had a picture of you. I speak some Spanish. And in college. Most of the staff working in the cafeteria was Hispanic. I was at the salad bar while two women were restocking it. And I heard them talking about my friend. She's so pretty. One said. The other said. Yes. Great tits too. Not gonna lie. They were right on the money. I was at McDonald's. 
so they could be forgiven for thinking I'm a tourist. Man. Hey. Look. There's a foreigner. You like foreigners. Write your number on this. Woman. Looks. I like handsome foreigners. Man. Haha. <laughs> His hair looks like a helmet right? Laughed my ass off. I've never heard someone talking about me. But I overheard an awkward conversation in a gas station between two Hispanic guys. It went like this. Hey man. How are you doing? Oh. Hey. Yeah. I'm good. What are you doing? Oh nothing really. Wanna go hang out? Oh. I can't. Um I've got plans. Oh. What are you doing? I'm. Um. Going to my grandma's house. Oh. Okay. Hey did you change your phone number? I keep trying to call you. Edit. Change funny to awkward. Oh. Yeah. Uh my phone has been acting up. Hey I gotta go. It was painfully obvious that the second guy didn't want to be friends with the first guy. But guy one wasn't picking up any hints. Sat across from two German girls on a train. They said I was 7 stroke 10. Maybe 8 stroke 10 if he smiled more. Looks like his mother died or something. Smells nice though. Not in real life. But I was once playing Stronghold 2 online, 2v2. Apparently pretty much everyone on there was German. Anyway. It greeted them in English. So I guess they assumed I only spoke that. And so even though there's no allies only chat. They felt comfortable talking about their plans with each other. They discussed their strategies in German. I understand German. I did well that game. Go out for beers with my half Iranian friend, who doesn't look Iranian weirdly, and we always end up going to different food places. A couple of times we left the place and he's said those two guys behind the counter were Iranian. And they were complimenting the girl's tits in front of us. And how Thede FCK her if she didn't look like a horse. Couple of times later we go back to the same place and I was having a sh tty day and the same two guys are there. Turns out they were talking bad shti about us this time and my friend collects our order and says thank you in Iranian and these two guys shti themselves and we complain to the manager. Haven't seen them since. I'm Middle Eastern. And look particularly Caucasian. I was at a Mediterranean restaurant when two older men began speaking Arabic to one another. If I remember correctly they said. Look at this Fka. Eating our food as if he knew what it meant to be like us. I then replied to the men in Arabic suggesting they should learn a thing or two about being Middle Eastern considering our culture involves loving one another. They ended up paying my bill at the restaurant. Great experience overall. I was working construction, white guy in Nashville. Only one on the site who spoke English. The painters were talking about my man boobs in Spanish. So. In Spanish. I yell back across the house they're still nicer than your sisters. Dead silence. Then roaring laughter. I got greeted with a super enthusiastic I I I I. Gringo. Every morning after that. I live in China working as a teacher. My Chinese is not good at all. But I'm working on my HSK3. So I know enough basic grammar to get around and have very simple conversations. My friends and I went to lunch at this restaurant called Caesaria. Which is like a Japanese run Italian food restaurant chain. My friends decided to order up all the food. Then go have a smoke. So I was sitting at the table by myself watching over everything. The waitress came over and started putting pizzas. Salad. And sausages on the table. Clearly enough for three people. My friends had even left their backpacks and jackets on the seats. But even then. She looked at me and muttered under her breath. Oh it wow. Henpang. Which basically means so fat. The waitress basically called me a fatty because there was so much food on the table. To my face. It didn't even make sense because obviously all the food was clearly not for just me. I told my friends when they came back and they had a laugh about it. Though. I'm a black guy living in Japan. I hear things all the time. But this exchange remains my favorite. 
I was sitting on the train and there were two girls standing next to me. Girl 1. Wow look. It's a black guy. Girl 2. Yeah. I've never seen one in person. Girl 1. He's quite big and scary. Don't you think? Girl 2. Yeah. But you'd still sleep with him. Wouldn't you? Girl 1. So would you. Unfortunately I didn't make anything happen from that. Colon. Comma girl 1. He's quite big and scary. Don't you think? It would have taken everything I had to not raise my hands and roar like a bear at them. I am a Chicana with a white father. I speak Spanish first but everyone assumes I do not. I am also the tallest Mexican American lady I know. Everyone assumes I am another white lady. When I first got a job it was with a government agency with a lot of folks who speak Spanish. Two of the older ladies really hated me and thought I was a complete wh -re. They talked about me in front of my face for months about how my ass was too fat. My hair was too blonde. And I was an idiot. One day the big boss came in and started speaking Spanish to me, cause he knew. One of the reasons I got the job in front of these ladies and they immediately started talking to me asking why I never said anything when they were talking shti. I told them it is way more interesting to know what folks know when they think you can't hear them.